I'm not having this comfort. Turn off the bloody camera. Guys, oh! It's Marathon episode of. A year after the tragic death of their father, Tostig and Harold look back at what they could have done differently. So, oh my god. We carried him to the king's chamber, and oh my god, he just died. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, we could have performed CPR, but you insisted on putting him to bed. And we both know that Gareth didn't want to have anything to do with it. True that. Gareth was being weird. I'm still dreaming about him, our father. I mean, it has been a year now, and I still haven't recovered from that night in the king's chamber. What? You haven't recovered? Damn it, Harold! You became the Earl of Wessex! I took the duty on behalf of our past father, you doofus. Okay, that is it. I'm not having this comfort. Turn off the bloody camera. So Tostig became the Earl of Northumbria in 1055. And what the... Beep! There has been unrest, harsh punishment, enforcing the law, and he even doubled the taxes. What a moron! Can he see being ridiculous? Okay, so my predecessor obviously didn't follow laws. No wonder the people were in need of some strong rule. What if I wasn't there? I mean, even now we're struggling with the Scottish raids and there being a real pain in the ass. Look, I know how to get them, but um, we're already wearing them down by cunning schemes and military campaigns. But they are also being very difficult. I mean, I have to finance my army against them, so I ask a little bit more taxes and everybody loses their shit. I heard that Tostig apparently slew two Nathanian novels. So, can you blame me for killing them? They were in my house! And there has been a murder at the court of Gospatric. And what do you want me to say about that? <laughs> Typically Tosti. I'll do what I must to succeed. Success is my middle name, and we will see how everything works out. I just want... What I really want is everybody to be happy. Okay, what the actual... Beep! I just got... <laughs> Being banished? That moron of a Harold. That skit couple. I mean, I just want to be a true old to the people. Protect them from the Scots. And I spread some love to the people and I immediately get banished from my earldom. It was the only thing I had left. I finally could do something with my life and my brother decides to take it away. Okay, basically Edward told me to bugger off, but Harold is the one I hold responsible. I just don't get it. In the good old days, they gave me no opposition. I mean, I mean the king and my brother. Because I did innumerable service and I faithfully performed them. That was what I got this bloody title of Earl for in the first place, posers. All these years, all this hard work just to get it shoved up the table. Those ungrateful Northumbrians. And they want this merchant worker now? What can he do that I can't? I, 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 and that shit crawl of a brother of mine? Harold just wanted me gone. And that's what he, why he aided these f***ing rebels. Blast him. Look, I never stood against my brother, but he was in the wrong. However, ever since he got managed, the girl has been ill. So I hope everything turns out alright. Ha ha ha! Come with me, brother. I've got my bed covered by someone I can trust this time. Ha ha ha! What? Are you telling me that that, that, that mother Beep! is going to fight us, the king? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Can you can you tell it to him? Okay. No, no, no. Keep those cameras rolling. I've got a message for him. Here comes Tostig, former Earl of Northumbria. Success is my middle name and tough king my first name. Yes, you heard it right. If it was up to me, I would be king. Together with King Harold of Norway, we will conquer England. Oh, come on. Is he still pissed at me because he blames me for getting banished? Harold was a fool for thinking that he could be king. Edward never liked him, so why would he appoint him of all people to become king? Edward was my buddy after all. I mean, after I got banished, Edward got ill, which eventually, eventually cost his death. Tostig seriously need to calm down. If he comes back now, I'll give him a piece of land. A piece of land? Are you shitting me? I cannot be bribed by that nonsense. It's all of England I desire. Fine. Prepare the army. I'm done with this shit. Guys, guys. Oh! <laughs>